Hello, beadlings. Welcome back. So for the December tutorial, super requested, I'm gonna show you how to make a candy jellyfish. If you wanna skip the announcements and go straight to the tutorial, go to this timestamp. For the rest of you who love me, here's some announcements. So the announcements for this month, we've got our regular stuff. Patreon is going strong. I deeply appreciate all of you. Um, I think there's a couple of slots that have opened up for the monthly candy care packages. So if you want to get in on that, go check it out. See if there's still a spot open. There were like two slots open at the time of filming. So we'll see where it's at. If you want to just help support the channel, you got the Patreon, you got the shop, whatever, you know what to do. Other than that, I have a bunch of things that I want to talk about. I want to talk about our merch plans. I want to talk about some more upcoming future plans, but nothing is ready. Nothing is in the stage where I can like tell you about it yet and be like, look at this thing that we're doing. And that's really hard for me because I'm really bad at keeping surprises a surprise. And I also personally really hate surprises. I thrive on like, predictability and schedules and like knowing what I'm going to do that day. And so it feels mean to keep things a surprise, but it's going to be really cool. It's going to be really, really cool when it's done. I appreciate your patience and sticking with me. And hopefully some of them will be ready for next month's tutorial and I can talk about them then. Other than that, I've just been making some really neat stuff and I wanted to show you for those of you who don't follow me on TikTok or on Instagram or whatever and you don't really get to see like all the things I make on a daily basis. I've been doing this series of animal cuffs. You can see he's moonwalking. Um, I started with this cow cuff and oof. then I made a frog. I made a little froggy cuff. And then, and then I made a turtle cuff and they're super cute. Um, I had a sudden like rush, like a little Christmas rush of orders. So I'm stuck working on my shop and like filling orders for the last couple weeks. But as soon as I have some free time, um, the next one that I'm in the middle of working on already is a little rubber ducky cuff. So I want to finish this whole series. I have like 12 of these little animals. I want to finish the whole series and make each of them into their own special little rotator cuff. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been working on. Let me know if there's other stuff that you want to see in these announcements. If there's like things that you are interested in getting updates on or things that you are interested in hearing about, I would love the feedback and I would love to like share a little bit more of my candy life with you. On with the tutorial. These are the supplies that you'll need. Uh, you've got string, you need stretchy string. I prefer 1.2 millimeter cloth covered stretch cord. You'll need beads. I've got a couple different colors here. Technically, you could do this all with one color of bead. You are totally free to choose what color scheme you like. This is the one that I like. Um, candy needle. This is also called a yarn needle. You can find them at most craft stores. A key ring. This is not necessary. Um, I just, I like putting my candy jellyfish onto key rings, but you know, it's up to you. And scissors. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut off a piece of string about 24 inches long and add three beads. Then you're going to tie it into a little triangle, just like that, very tight. And I'm gonna triple nut this so that it does not come undone. And then cut off the little short end. And then I'm gonna tie my candy needle on to the long end there. Just a single granny knot, or if you're feeling particularly spicy, you can do a double knot. Now we're gonna take our string and we're gonna go through one of those beads right next to the knot. That kind of hides the knot a little bit more inside of that bead. And now we're going to add one, two, three beads. So we'll add one bead in between 
each of these two beads. So there's one there. One there and one more. Last one. And as we go through, come here. So as we go through this one here, we're also going to go through the next one, which is also the first bead that you added in this uh, particular round. So now we've got this bigger triangle. Now we're gonna add three beads, one, two, three, and go into the next point. So three beads between each point. We're gonna do that on all three sides of the triangle. So we're adding our last point here. We went came out of this bead, we're gonna go into this bead, and then we're also going to go through one, two, three, that first point that we added. Those of you who know how to make candy mushrooms uh, may feel a sense of familiarity at this point. So now what we're gonna do, see how there's one, two, three little gaps. We're gonna put a bead into each one of those gaps. So coming out of this bead right here, we're gonna add one bead and then go into this bead right here. And through all three, Pulling super, super tight, as we do. And then we're going to repeat that. And one more time. And this time when we add this last bead, we're going to go in these two and come out of the point. So now you should have the beginning of the jellyfish that looks kind of like this. And you can see it's triangular. You've got one, two, three points like that. Then you also have one, two, three beads that are sticking up a little bit. So all together you've got six points. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put three beads in between each point. So from here, we'll add three beads and go into this next bead over here to the right. Just like that. And now we'll add three beads and go into this next point over. There you go. So I'm going to do this until I've got six points. So all the way around the circle. Okay, so we've got our six points added. And you can see after I added that last point, you go up and out through the middle of that first point that we've added. And now we're going to do the same thing once again, add three beads in between each point. If you want to make your jellyfish look the same as mine, this is the point at which I switch colors. So I'm going to go from this very dark pink to a lighter pink. And once again, add three beads. There we go, pulling tight. Uh, it is very important to keep your string extremely tight. You can see I'm like keeping it wrapped around this finger, pinched, the whole deal just to make sure that it doesn't get loose because um, keeping it tight is what gives the jellyfish its round shape. So you can see what I'm doing here. Three beads in between each point all the way around the circle. I'm gonna do that and be right back. And we're on the last point and you can see, I'm gonna add it, go through this point and then also out through the middle of the first one that I added. And now we're gonna do our last row, which is in between each point or each center bead, we're gonna add four light pink beads. Do 
this is what gives the jellyfish kind of the rounded edge that you see, just like that. And we're gonna go add four beads into the middle, into the middle, you get it all the way around. Okay, and we are adding that last row of four and just going through that first middle bead there. And now I'm just gonna tie it off. Um, I like to use a triple knot to tie off my beads. And I'm gonna tie it off around the string that's going up through these beads. So tuck it under and then I'm gonna come back up through the other side just like that. and pull it through and then repeat that two more times so tuck it under and back up you always want to keep a little loop here so that you can pull the tail of the string through that loop and one more time under, over, keep the loop, and pull it through. Perfect. Now we'll cut off the extra. There we go. So now we've got the top of the jellyfish. This is the jellyfish hat. And we just have to add the legs. So for the legs, we're going to get two roughly 10 inches of string. Um, this doesn't have to be stretchy. I happen to be using stretchy string, but if you want to use yarn or something for the legs, um, you totally can. Does not have to be stretchy at this part. I like to do four little danglies. You can do as many as you like, um, but I'm going to show you how to do four. So looking at the cap, looking at the way that the cap is constructed, we can see like, okay, there's our original big triangle. And then working off of that big triangle, okay, here's the part where we added those spikes, right? So we want to go into this one, this spiky bead part. This is where one of our tentacles is going to hang down from. And then run it through the next bead over. And the next one down from that. So it's gonna look like this, where you've got it coming out of this spiky boy and this spiky boy. We're just gonna pop the legs down so that they hang on the inside of the jelly. And give them a little tug so that you can't really see them anymore from the outside. And we want them to be roughly even in length. Good enough. Now we're gonna add our beads. So I like to do three dark, one, two, three, three light, one, two, three, four clear, one, two, three, four. And then one like teal kind of greeny color. And with this one, I tie it off. So I actually take the bead and tie it like that. So you can see it is stopping the other beads from falling off. And then triple knot that and cut off the little extra tail. And now I'm gonna take the other end and just pull it a little so that this leg is tightened. You can't see any string in between the beads. Now I'm gonna repeat that on this side.
and you can see we've got kind of a longer tail here. So you want to kind of make sure that, oops, you want to kind of make sure that when you are tying your bead on, that you are tying it close to the other beads as possible. See? So it just naturally will sit there. And you could go shorter, you could go longer. Um, really, you can get as creative as you want with these little, little tentacles. This is just how I've been doing it. There you go. So there's two of the legs done, and you just have to add two more on the opposite side, same way as these ones, and you're basically done. So let me add those and I'll be right back. One thing you do wanna note, I'm gonna use this to show you. So um, these two legs are on this side. I made sure to string the other string through on the exact opposite side. Um, and this little string right here showing on the front is why you wanna make sure that you Grab these boys and you give them a nice good pull. See that? It disappeared. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. Okay, there we go. So we've got our four leggies added. If you wanna be super extra careful, you can always go back in and put a little dot of glue everywhere that you've got knots. Um, that way, just in case, you know, if you nicked the knot with your scissors or didn't tie it too tightly enough or whatever, whatever, like they will definitely 100% not come undone if there is glue on them. I like to use Gorilla Glue personally for that. Um, okay, so last step, and this is totally optional. I do like to have these things on key rings. I think that like having them as a keychain is both super, super cute and probably the easiest way to have them. So you want to take your key ring, open it up like that pick which bead you want to put it on and just just like a key there you go and that's how you make a candy jellyfish thanks so much for sticking around through that whole tutorial if you do end up using this tutorial to make your own candy jellies tag me on instagram i love seeing everything that you all make um, and i try to repost some of it in my story every time i see it i hope it was helpful please let me know in the comments if it was and what other types of tutorials you would like to see if you would like some voting power over the next tutorials my patrons do get like first dibs on voting for what the next tutorial is going to be so if you want to support the channel if you want to get in on that um, if you just like what I do and want to throw a couple bucks my way go ahead and check out my patreon it's linked down there it's also like linked in other places whatever I, I say this every video you know how to find me on patreon and uh, it sustains Hubert it's, it's where I get his fish food is from the patreon you don't want Hubert to go hungry right Okay, um, so again, thank you so much for watching and a special extra big thank you to my patrons. Fleur! Thank you so much, especially to Mick and Jofi from my Patreon and to everyone else listed here for helping to support the channel.